Welcome to Excel 2010 Preview number three. Hey, uh, the 2010 Excel Technical Preview came out last week. It's not going to come out officially until the early part of next year. Now, I've showed you the rank function, totally amazing. It deals with average copy and paste and all those cool things. Got to show you percentile. They've improved it tremendously. Now, percentile, what does percentile do? Here's some CPA scores. And if you say the uh, 90th percentile, it means that 90% of the scores will be below that particular score and 10% above. So it's a very useful uh, function in Excel. Now, here's the old percentile function right here, down at the bottom. And as we mentioned when we did rank, Oh, look at that. They have some new percentiles, exclusive and inclusive, which we'll use in a moment. They're just amazing. They really solve a great problem. Here's the old ones. Notice the little red do not use sign. They have them so that people with spreadsheets with the old functions still work, but they don't want you to use them anymore. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how that old one used to work. You'd highlight that range and then comma 0.9 to get the 90th percentile. And sure enough, it'd give you 57.5. Now that is ridiculous. The, I, I even used to know the algorithm, because I teach statistics of how this worked. And I used to show it in classes, but I just stopped showing it because, and taught people how to do it by hand, because some of the answers were just ridiculous. Now, he, here's how you do it um, the new way, equals percentile. And we have exclusive and inclusive. And we want exclusive. Same thing. And then comma 0.9, close parentheses. That makes sense. Now, what it does technically is it goes all the way to the 13.5 um, the thir uh, number, which is somewhere in between here. And it calculates the distance and gives you that number. This is just, uh, who knows how they got. I mean, actually, there is an algorithm that they calculate. But it doesn't make much sense. Let me show you the by hand way. And it's, it, it takes a couple steps, and we'll just appreciate how amazing this new function is. Now, technically, the way you do it is you go n, the count of all these plus 1 times whatever your percent is, and it gives you the position. So here we go, equals in parentheses count. And I'm going to highlight all of these. Close, uh, close parentheses on that, plus 1, close parentheses, times 0.9. It's going to tell you to go find the 13.5th value. Well, if we do it by hand, here's 13, here's 14. Now, what it should do, you can see that 57.5 is like somewhere in between here. But there it is, the 13.5th value. If we could somehow go between these two values halfway, because 0.5 is the decimal, that would give us the exact position. So here's how we do it. Uh, equals open parentheses the big one minus the smaller one times 0.5. That tells you how far from this number uh, through the interval you need to go, 19. So the actual percentile would be that one plus how far you had to go through the in, um, uh, interval to get to that 0.5 mark, 78. And so that is about time that Excel put uh, this percentile. Now there's a uh, a few different ways to calculate percentile. This is one of them, but certainly uh, this one, in my experience, is more common. So it's certainly a welcome addition to the new Excel. Now, t uh, technically, they don't want you to use this one. So what, they, what do they have you do? In the new version, you're going to have to go equals percentile and select inclusive, and then uh, do it that way, because they don't want you to use those older ones. All right, uh, we'll see you for the fourth amazing trick, Excel 2010. See you next video.